Welcome back to the Kim Lorenzen Show. It's glad. <laughs> It's her world. It's I just been, live in yeah, it. Yeah, it's been yeah. so fun today. It's like I feel like we're darting from kind of place to place. It's been here. crazy today. I texted her thing. and I said I need a crockpot recipe, and she sent me what maybe one of the handiest crockpot oh recipes ever. It's chicken fajitas. Chicken fajitas, and this literally will become like a once a week kind of staple. Yeah, recipe. I'm going to show you a couple of pictures. Oh my gosh. Okay, except for a pound of chicken, mm -hmm. this is all you need. Okay, so a pound of chicken. You need some peppers, an onion, and fajita seasoning, period. That's it. And you're done. Okay, so here's what I did according to the instructions Kim supplied for me. I put the chicken in the bottom of the crock pot. Now, it said to cook them on low, but I did it on high because I got a late start. It's yeah. going to be fine. Right. So you put the chicken in, you sprinkle the seasoning over the top, then you slice and pile on the peppers and onions, and you shut the lid and you walk away. That's it. Okay, now. That's absolutely it. I, this is the first time I've opened this crock pot since I put it in there, and I want you to see what this looks like. This is gorgeous. Okay, here's the chicken. Look at the peppers and onions. There's a ton of juice in here. There All right. Is. Now just think about this for a second. This took nothing no. to put together. No. And there no. you go. So that's what you have. Now, if you want to eat it like that, that's fine. But Absolutely. you need to just fajita it up with some tortillas. Well, so, and you'll see, Joy, see how that just falls apart? Like you can even, sometimes before I serve it, mm -hmm. I just like shred the chicken in the crock pot. Shred it with a couple of forks and leave it back in the in juice. The, and just let all that juice kind of go. Why? Yeah, because look, you? it just falls apart. This is genius. I mean, genius. it just falls apart. This is absolutely genius. I'm going to take this little spoon right here and I'm going to get some more absolutely. of this juice. But you're right, shred it and put it back in there. And then you can just, guess what? You don't even have a serving dish. You can have, your family can come by and just, you can serve it right out of the crock pot because you've already shredded your chicken and you're, you're good to go. So that's it. So you can really, you can kind of trick these out any way you want to. Right. So I got a couple of um, tortillas. So I'm just going to put some of the chicken in and there. Look at those peppers. Just like that. That's all it I takes. Know. A little bit of salsa because, you know, salsa. And then let's sprinkle a little cheese over there you've got dinner and that's it that's literally it you are done you've got your dinner right here it is amazing i mean this it's is a great genius genius now i would love more of course because of me being me i would love some nice fresh cilantro absolutely maybe some sour cream absolutely maybe a little guacamole yeah you could have your little um condiments around yeah and, but the thing i love about it it's one dish you can serve it right that's out all. of there it's healthy it's yeah to me a lot of crock pot dishes are winter yeah kind of dishes but this is all year long this is I mean, all this year is all long. year long i love it i yeah, absolutely adore this thank you for this i think this may be a go-to for our family yeah. now yeah. because if you think about it you don't have an excuse to not have a nice hot dinner when and you've healthy. got this and it's very healthy i mean it is so healthy how can it not be you I could know. throw a jalapeno in there you could throw mm -hmm. the cilantro in there if you really like that yeah. flavor you can and really kind of get fun with it i've not tried it with steak I don't know why you could But couldn't. I, I think that that would be fun to try. Oh, I think it would be too. Mm -hmm. I really do. Yeah. I and mean, you brought a wine to pair with it. Oh, yes. So, I'm not going to let you forget that. I'm going to build you a taco. Okay. So um, I brought a nice little Rioja, little Tempranillo, mm. to go with our fajitas. Fajitas, not tacos. Oh, Whatever fajitas. you want to call it. Soft yeah. taco, fajita. But there this you is, um, you know, and you could use the taco seasoning, but I did buy the fajita seasoning. Mm -hmm. Look at that. I know. You have Look. got dinner ready to roll. Tempranillo. Cheers. Mm, I love a tempranillo. You know what? What is not to love about this? So there you go. That's another reason we like to do crock pot craze. And if you have any recipes like this, send them to us and we'll make them on the air. We've had viewers submit recipes and we've Absolutely. Done that. That's fun. And I love to watch because I love to get new ideas because it's so easy. This is just so easy. I'm going to have a bite. Um, you know, maybe some of the swamp dragon hot sauce would be, <gasps> some of the tequila sauce the tequila would be really good. Tequila swamp dragon sauce. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Isn't it great? It's fantastic. It's fantastic. Isn't Truly. That good? So easy, so mm -hmm. good. Yeah. Thank you. You saved the family dinner. <laughs> like, I don't know how many times moving forward. Anyway, Kim Lorenzen. It's been man, a fun great show. Stuff. It has been, and we've got more to come. So we'll wrap it up right after this. Don't go away. Got a mouthful.